Hi, welcome to Free Pedal Lessons. Um, we're in the series of how do I do this thing? What, what do I need and how do I hold it? And um, a, the beginning of the beginner series. So um, I'm going to talk today about how to hold the violin. Uh, I have my shoulder rest on, which I talked about in the previous video. Um, again, you don't need to have a shoulder rest, but I find them really helpful. And what you want to do is keep your body as kind of straight as possible. Um, and I am turning my head to the left, my own left, but just a small amount. Um, I don't want to be really craning my neck around. And often, sometimes people will turn their left foot out as well to sort of balance um, this, this motion and, and movement in this direction. Um, I am experimenting with that because I learned um, due to some back problems and arm problems that turning that foot out to the side actually changes the position of your hips and brings your knees together and sort of destabilizes your position. So um, I actually play seated a lot, but when I'm playing standing, I'm experimenting with keeping my feet kind of straight forward. Uh, and so then here's what you want to be doing to hold the violin. You want to have it come to your shoulder. You're going to use mostly your jawbone to hold the instrument. And there's this little ridge on most chin rests that, um, that you're jawbone goes on the other side of, and then you're holding it quite securely. Uh, you want to be able to use your left hand to do other things, um, rather than be hanging on for dear life. That can take some getting used to also. Um, and then the left hand position, um, maybe I'll turn it like this to start. There, You want to have a little bit of a cradle underneath, this is called the neck of the violin. So um, I've got a little gap so I'm not setting, setting the violin right in the crotch of my hand. Um, I'm setting it in resting between this knuckle at the base of my pointer finger and the first, or the, I guess the end joint of my thumb. And the thumb is set closer to me than the finger. So they're a little offset. Pointer finger is almost back. This little ridge at the end of the neck is called the nut. Um, pointer finger is almost back there, which gives me plenty of space to put my finger down. Um, for the normal first finger position. Also, finger numbers in violin, different than piano, which sometimes will throw people off. Your pointer finger is one, middle finger is two, ring finger is three, pinky finger is four. So the thumb doesn't count as a finger in the violin. We have one, one, two, three, and four. Um, and so you can see the thumb is set closer to me. Uh, if I had a tape indicating the first finger position, for me, my thumb rests right about where that tape um, that tape would be. Um, there is also a finger position that's further away from me, that's lower. Um, that would be for like B flat, F natural, um, on the A and the E strings. Um, so this, this thumb is coming um, where B and F sharp and E and A would be on the fingerboard. So, um, I've got the cradle, I've got a relaxed position, I've got my right wrist straight. Um, that's for multiple reasons. Um, Body-wise, if your wrist is bent either out, which I do sometimes see um, people kind of over-exaggerating and pushing it out, but to me I think it's as bad as what's more common is lying it flat and pancaked. And either way, you're bending, um, bending your wrist and the tendons, which are working so hard to make your fingers move all these detailed motions and very quick. The tendons are having to pass around a bend, and that um, is going to make them more inflamed and more prone to tendonitis. So part of the reason is just for the good of your body, which is, I shouldn't say just, because that's, if your body's hurt, it's really hard to play. Um, and if you love music and you really want to play, it's really hard to have your body not letting you do it. So learning to keep that wrist straight is very valuable. The other reason, though, is also for sound. Um, if my wrist is bent, my fingers are going to come in flat, and that's going to make it harder to produce precise intonation. Um, it's also going to um, make it harder for me to be playing just on one string. It tends to make your fingers bump into other strings. So with a straight wrist, I can have my fingers coming down, straight down on the string. Um, I'll turn this around. Yeah, this is very awkward, but. 
um, what you want is your fingers coming down on um, on the very tips to, to contact the string. And you probably want to have your nails cut short. I have some sort of funny nail things shut this finger in a door once. Uh, so that nail never gets very long or I, you know, it can't, it can get long, but I keep it cut pretty short. Um, but, um, if you have your nails sticking out past the end of your fingers, they'll bump into the fingerboard and keep you from pressing down, um, easily on the strings. So when you're pressing on the strings, you don't want to be like making your fingers white. You just need to press hard enough so that the string is making good contact with the fingerboard. And that's what changes the pitch of the note. So not so light that you're just touching the string and not pressing it down, but also um, not so heavy that you're using extra force because the more relaxed you can have your left hand, the faster and more easily and fluidly you'll be able to play. Um, another important consideration is how your violin is set up in this way. You want to be pressing down just a small amount to um, um, on the strings. And if your violin is set up with either <clears throat> the nut here or the bridge too high, sometimes you can have, it's called high action, which means you have to press the string down a long ways. So that's something in your setup that if you notice that, as, like um, the first fingers always should be pretty low, but the, and the third finger, um, you know, I'm probably pressing, oh, an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Um, so if you're pressing a long ways down, you want to um, have your violin set up changed so you don't have to press so hard. And that's pretty much all there is to, um, to getting started holding the violin.